I'm a professor in physical geography. I'm a member of the geography department, which is part of the College of Science in the university. Uh, I've got a, a research group that's made up of PhD students, postdoctoral researchers, um, lecturing staff and technicians. And our main research focus is to look at uh, past climate change and to reconstruct past climate changes. Well, this, this area has always been of interest to me. I feel a bit like a detective having to gather different clues or, or, or doing a big jigsaw, really, trying to get different pieces of evidence and putting it together to reconstruct what's happened in the past. And, and it's such a topical area as well to think about and, and improve our understanding of the past in order to see what may happen in the future. So the work we're doing at the moment is looking at these rapid climatic changes. Now, those these were changes that so 8 to 16 degrees centigrade temperature changes occurring within decades. So they're really, really abrupt, very rapid events. Now the problem we've got is understanding why they've happened. We don't really understand the trigger for these events. And there's evidence for these events affecting the whole of the Northern Hemisphere. And the reason we don't understand why they've happened is because of the problem in dating them. We don't really understand the pattern, whether there's a trigger in the oceans or whether there's a trigger in the atmosphere. And what we're doing is using ash layers to, to investigate this and to address this problem. Now, when a volcano erupts, you've got ash deposited and dispersed over very large areas. And that ash then can be, it falls to the ground and can be incorporated within ice or marine or terrestrial sediments. And as, as time goes by then, and we can retrieve cores from these different environments, from the ice cores, or from um, the bottom of the oceans, we can then find these ash layers and use them to link these different records and then compare the different changes that have occurred. So these ash layers are really quite important for helping us date and looking at the pattern of changes and helping us understand what's triggering these events. At the moment, we are working very closely with um, the Ice and Climate group at the University of Copenhagen. They are leading the ice core drilling in Greenland and we hope to work a lot more with them in the future. They provide us with the ice that we look for these microscopic ash layers um, and we hope to continue with, with that collaboration. We also work with UK universities, with um, people in Bangor and in the University of St Andrews and really it's to, it's to continue that national as well as international collaboration. That's our goal for the, for the future.